613 kilometers on a single charge. That is what Hyundai is promising with this, their new Ionic 6, the streamlined streamliner, or so they claim. With a 77.4 kilowatt hour battery, a ridiculous 0 to 60 time, and the ability to charge from 10 to 80% in just 18 minutes. Is this now the EV to watch? Is this a new baby Porsche Taycan? Well, in this video, we're going to take a quick walk around to find out. My name is Ayman Ay Abdullah, this is Mlesen Motoring, and welcome to the launch of the new Hyundai Ioniq 6. So the Ionic 6 will be available in Malaysia in two variants. We have this, which is the long-range all-wheel drive, as well as the long-range rear-wheel drive. So we'll get onto that one in a little bit. So talking about the all-wheel drive model, this car produces 320 horsepower and 605 newton meters of torque, capable of rocketing this car from 0 to 100 in just 5.1 seconds. Now, official WLTP range is rated at 519 kilometers on a single charge, whereas the rear-wheel drive model will do 614. Now, the ways that you can tell this car from the outside is the larger 20-inch alloy wheels, which to me certainly look fantastic. And if you're looking at a model that isn't black, you can also tell the sunroof up here. But otherwise, these cars are exactly the same. So you still have the intelligent front lighting system, which includes a matrix LED system, which will be able to blank out the beam wherever cars may be, while still maintaining full beam everywhere else. You, of course, get this very sleek body, a four-door coupe-like exterior. Although it is worth noting that this vehicle does not come with frameless doors, which I think is a little bit of a um, disappointment to me. Now, despite its fastback look, you may assume that this would be a fastback or a five-door, but it is not, because this is a traditional saloon in every sense. By accessing a button here, you can see that there is very much a boot behind which you will find a pretty decent amount of space. It's not the deepest space in here, but it does go in quite a way and the rear seats do fold 60-40. Underneath the boot floor, you will find a little bit of space, just enough for you to put a Type 2 charging cable, although both models do come with a little bit more space underneath the bonnet. There is more space in the rear-wheel drive model, obviously, but even in the all-wheel drive model, there is a usable amount of room. Now, this sleek shape that you see here is largely driven by aerodynamics. This is one of the most aerodynamic vehicles in the world with a 0.21 coefficient number, making this incredibly energy efficient, which is why it can do 614 kilometers on a single charge. And one of the contributing factors to that are these very sleek door handles, which hide in the bodywork when the car is locked, again, reducing drag altogether. It is worth noting, however, that the Ionic 6 is not available with cameras for the rearview mirrors. Now, some of you may be disappointed by that, but as far as I'm concerned, these work a lot better than cameras and screens. Now, this is the long-range rear-wheel drive, where instead of having two motors powering both axles, you only have one motor powering the rear. Now, as a result, this car is able to do 614 kilometers on a single charge or so it claims. Uh, both vehicles are powered by the same 77.4 kilowatt hour battery. Usable is about 72 kilowatts, which means, like I said earlier, this car is incredibly energy efficient. Now, in addition to the slightly smaller wheels and the lack of sunroof, like I pointed out earlier, it is worth noting that the Ionic 6 is available in a variety of colors, some of which are metallic, or in this case, matte. If you're looking for a matte finish, you can either get this matte gray or you can get a matte champagne, which I think is really rather fetching. But the metallic colors are also pretty good too, particularly this very dark black, very fetching. Now inside the Ionic 6, although this is a vehicle that is ultimately based on the same platform as the larger Ionic 5 crossover SUV hatchback, the interior design of this car is very distinctive. So for starters, you sit a lot lower than you would in the Ionic 5, although ahead of you, you will still find the two 10.25 inch screens, which are both very high definition and incredibly reactive to input. You also get the same dual zone climate control with the multi-info panel down here, where you're able to switch between shortcut buttons or HVAC controls, which I certainly appreciate. And you still have a stop-start button here, which I think a lot of EV manufacturers are trying to get rid of for some reason. Now, in terms of interior accoutrements, you do obviously get electric ventilated and heated seats on either side. You also get electric adjustment, as I mentioned earlier, with 
two-stage memory functionality for the driver, which also includes the mirrors, allowing you to share your car with a spouse or a partner, perhaps. The steering wheel is both tilt and telescopic adjustment, which means that you can get very comfortable in this car and have the steering wheel exactly where you want it. Now, this two-spoke unit is not only very easy to use with very tactile buttons, so it's very easy for you to figure out where all the functions are. You also have a drive mode selector down on a stalk here, which I think is very functional. And most importantly, you also have these four LED squares in the middle of the steering wheel boss that will be able to tell you your state of charge. Your gear selector is over here, and while you have these very beautiful door cards which integrate the Bose speakers down here, what I do find a bit odd is the fact that the window controls are all here. That said, your lock and unlock for the doors is also here, which I think is quite practical. You get a wireless charger here, a couple of cup holders, and a decent amount of space in the central storage channel where you will find two of the many USB-Cs available in this car. You also have a floating center console, which means you have more space down there. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the long range all wheel drive does benefit from a sunroof. And so when you have this relatively dark interior, you will appreciate the fact that you can let in more light through the roof. However, I would argue that the Ionic 6 slightly more sporty, more dynamic character may benefit from this slightly more hemmed in sensation. And sat here, visibility does seem pretty good, although rearward visibility is somewhat compromised by that roof line, but overall, it's still a relatively pleasant place to be. And I certainly want to be in one of these very soon. Now in the back, you will find a pretty decent amount of space. With this seat set up in my driving position, I have absolutely acres of knee room. And headroom is pretty good too. I'm about 170 centimeters, definitely taller than that other slightly larger presenter. And as you can see, I am very comfortable back here. It is worth noting that the floor is quite high, which means even sat like this, I do not really have that much under thigh support, which means I'm most likely going to end up sitting like this. But because of the masses of legroom, I can actually sit cross-legged quite comfortably. Now down here, you will find a couple of air convents, but no AC controls and a couple of USB-C ports to charge up devices. You also have a central armrest where you'll find a couple of cup holders. And on this front passenger seat, not only do you have buttons in order to control the seat fore and aft, as well as the tilt of the backrest, there's also a button that allows you to completely fold the seat forward for better legroom and visibility, which I certainly appreciate. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this fastback design does come with some degree of compromise and that comes in terms of overall visibility because back here, the glass house is really not that tall and so children sat in isofix mounted seats back here may experience a degree of car sickness. But as far as I'm concerned, for adults, this is a pretty nice place to be. Now, we've got three more points to cover, which is charging, price and warranty. The Ionic 6 is built off of the same platform as the Ionic 5, which means that they benefit from an 800 volt EV architecture. That means that these cars can charge up to 350 kilowatts DC, which allows you to do a 10 to 80% charge in just 18 minutes. Now, at the moment, we only have one 350 kilowatt DC charger, and that is in Sungai Wei, but we do expect to see more charges like these coming soon. Now, we have to talk about price. The Ionic 6 is available, as I mentioned, in two variants, rear wheel drive and all wheel drive with the rear-wheel drive model coming in at 289,888 ringgit, whereas the all-wheel drive model comes in at 319,888 ringgit. Now, these cars will come as standard with an eight-year, 160,000 kilometer battery warranty, but the warranty itself is just two years. If you want to upgrade that to a five-year warranty, it'll cost you an additional 10,000 ringgit, at which point the total warranty coverage will be five years and 100,000 kilometers, because as standard, it is, sorry, three years and 50,000 kilometers. Now, the first 30 owners of the new Ionic 6 will receive a free one-year Shell Recharge Gold membership, allowing them to charge at Shell Recharge fast chargers across the country, which means they can make full use of the 180 kilowatt charging available to them and therefore travel in greater comfort. Now, let us know in the comment section below if you think that the Ionic 6 is the EV for you. With this kind of range and this kind of performance, is this the car that you're looking for? Is this now the new sedan that you think will fit into your life? Let us know in the comment section below and let us know what color because we're curious. In any case, that has been our coverage of the new 2023 Hyundai Ionic 6. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell icon to notify every time we make a new upload. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. All the links are in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. We will catch you in the next one. Take care and stay safe.